you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to talk about Preparation H ointment or hemorrhoid cream and whether or not it is good for wrinkles but I'm here to talk about the ingredients so I know what some of you will be thinking this is old news Karen we've already talked about this years ago um, it was proven to be good for under eye circles eye bags um, fine lines it's good at wound healing etc but the key ingredient was taken out that's what everybody believes is the case and um, but it's not quite that simple and I think you might be excited when I tell you the facts so it was specifically Preparation H that was the, the brand that had the ingredient in it that was beneficial. Um, none of the other brands to my knowledge had the ingredients in it, just Preparation H, and it was the ointment that I've got here, not the cream and not the clear gel. There's two main ingredients that were thought to be so beneficial. The number one ingredient is the live yeast cell derivative, also known as SRF, also known as Biodyne, um, it has peptides in it and it's the one that there has, it has data to show that it's a very good at wound healing and by its very action, it would, would um, tighten the skin, take away any inflammation, take away redness and all of these things everybody was finding was working for them. So that's the first ingredient. The second ingredient was shark liver oil. Um, and so then they're not sure which was responsible for which. No, the number one potent ingredient is the SRF, the biodine, um, which is the yeast. And the number two ingredient that they also thought might have helped the whole thing along was shark liver oil. Um, and they thought this might have been responsible for helping with the fine lines. So what happened? Everybody was using it, getting results from it. What happened? Well, in the USA, the FDA, um, that controlled the Food and Drug Association, I think it's called, um, wanted proof that this live cell biodyne SRF was actually working um, or did actually work. And the only way to get proof of a product working, as I've spoken about before, is to do a specific type of research and to do lots of research. You can't just do research in five people. You have to do double blind research um, in a proper clinical trial. This is very expensive and can take years and can take millions of pounds. Um, and so the company, Preparation H or whoever owns them, I'm not sure who owns that company, decided that that was just way too expensive and they couldn't afford to do that. So they would replace it instead. Phenylephrine. And phenylephrine is something you may have seen if you take over the counter cold and flu medication. It's something that um, is used as a decongestion because it shrinks blood vessels in the nasal passages. So it would of course work on the blood vessels of um, piles or hemorrhoids. So that was the first and, and most important ingredient for the anti-aging point of view taken out of that product. Um, the second product was shark liver oil. And like I said, that was considered to contribute to um, helping with fine lines, etc., because it was very moisturizing. The problem with shark liver oil is the concerns over the survival of sharks. Um, it's, it's said that the shark liver oil is taken from sharks that are caught accidentally in fishing nets. But I think we can all probably agree that, that any, any um, product that is in high demand there will be a black market for it. And so it's more than likely that sharks are being hunted for um, their shark liver oil because it is a sought after ingredient. Because of that concern, a lot of companies decided to take shark liver oil completely out of their products. There were other products that had shark liver oil in. Um, for example, Dove and Clarins both said they would no longer use shark liver oil. So that was the problem with the two main ingredients that were thought to um, have anti-aging properties. I thought that was the end of the story. Um, I even, I discussed it with somebody once and they were telling me they were thinking of use it but they'd looked into it and the shark liver oil had been removed and that was the main ingredient causing anti-aging and so it wasn't worth it anymore. So it, it didn't enter my mind. I don't know why this, what made me think of this last week. I think I must have read something in a magazine or maybe somebody asked a question. I can't actually remember what brought this back to mind but I thought I wonder. So I started doing my own research and it turns out that it seems to be fairly common knowledge on the internet that um, in Canada you can buy Preparation H and it still has the biodyne in it and it still has the shark liver oil in it. Um, but in the USA it's a completely different product. In the USA Preparation H is the phenylephrine um, and it also has, I noted down, mineral oil, petroleum jelly, um, and some other, some perfume and whatnot. The phenylephrine is not something I would recommend using underneath your eyes at all. Um, it, yes, it may well work a little bit, but it could also thin out your skin. It could be irritating. It's really not a product to be putting under your, under your eyes. 
What nobody seems to be saying is the UK also still sells Preparation H with the original ingredients. So I've got the Preparation H ointment. You have to get the ointment, not the clear gel and not the cream. Um, and I bought this from Boots. You can buy it off the shelf. It's £3.95. And this has both of those ingredients in it. So um, the interesting thing is they are they're listed slightly different. The ingredients on this packet of Preparation H is slightly different to what it says on the Boots website. On the Boots website, it says the active ingredients are live yeast cell derivative, SRF, 1%, shark liver oil, 3%. Um, then on the packet here, it says hydrolyzed yeast. Now, that can mean SRF. It can, hydrolyzed yeast could include SRF, but it's not as specific as that. So. I'm going, I'm going to actually get in touch with Boots and ask them, is that, is the, is the website correct or is this correct? Because you would think that this would be more correct. And it, it, but even if this is correct, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have SRF in it. Because like I said, that could be part of hydrolyzed yeast. It just, it also could not. That is a sort of overarching name. I've also had a look at all of the other um, hemorrhoid treatments. So Amusol, Germaloids, Bootsone, and there's all sorts of different ingredients in them. Some of them use lidocaine, which is an anesthetic. Um, and so there's no other cream that I would say would have the same claims or the same effectiveness as um, the Preparation H ointment would. Um, so on to the other ingredients in this. That's something that I do need to mention if you're going to try this. It has perfume in it, although it's very low on the list, it does have perfume in it. It also has parabens in it. Again, it's only got one paraben, no it hasn't two. Two parabens, methyl paraben and propyl paraben. Um, and they're fairly low on the list, but there's not that many ingredients. So it doesn't tell you exactly how much make it up. But if you're trying to avoid parabens, then I wouldn't use this. It has mineral oil, lanolin, and glycerin, um, all of which I think are lovely skin conditioning ingredients, but maybe ones that you want to avoid. It's got retinol palmitate in it, which is a form of vitamin A, so that's pretty good for your skin, but you need to make sure you're using the correct sun protection. If you are going to use this around your eyes, make sure that you put SPF around your eyes the following day. So I imagine some of you are like me, I bought this before doing all of my research and you would want to buy one without the shark liver oil in it because of the um, endangerment of the sharks. Um, I have found two products that have the yeast extract in it, but it is nowhere near as, as much of a high concentration as it would be in this. So obviously that is down to personal choice as to whether you use this or whether you buy these other two things because the other two things are actually pretty expensive. The first one is called Heal Gel Intensive. You may have heard of this Heal Gel. I actually remember seeing Heal Gel years ago in like, you know, you'd get those magazines and it would be advertised in there. But it seems like it's, it's a lot of people are raving about this Heal Gel and I suspect it is because of that ingredient. And I'm looking at the moment on Feel Unique and it's £37.50 for the Heal Gel Intensive 30 ml in a pump bottle, which is how I would suggest getting it. There is one in a jar, but that's, the ingredients will degrade um, and I'm having a look and there isn't anything else in it other than there is some alcohol but the alcohol is about 12 or 13 on the list there's a lot of ingredients in there but there's no parabens so again if you're looking for one without shark liver oil in without parabens and this one doesn't seem to have much perfume in it um, it's got a little bit but again it's very very low on the list and this also has arnica in it it's a very good formulation um, and so that's £37.50 though obviously versus £4. And the second product that I found it in is by Soap and Glory and it's called You Won't Believe Your Eyes and it has a yeast extract called Saccharomyces lysate in it. If you're looking at the ingredients that's what you're looking for and it is probably about 10 on the list. So again it will, it will be in no way the same level as in the preparation H. Um, but again, no parabens. This one is £12.50 for the little tube. Um, it has some other lovely ingredients in it. I'm just having a look to see if there is any perfume in there. I'm trying to widen my eyes so I don't have to put my glasses on. It doesn't look like there's any perfume. Let me do just a quick check. No. No, there's no added fragrance in there. Um, I can't see anything of concern. So I think the one that I would recommend would be this Soap and Glory, You Won't Believe Your Eyes. Now, whether or not that is 
the same ingredients in the US, I don't know. I just did to try and find out is I clicked to say that I was in the US on the Soap and Glory site and then it doesn't bring their eye cream up. So I suspect it's not sold in the US because you're not allowed to sell products with that ingredient in. Um, but it is in Canada. So I think all of these products, if you just think of the UK and Canada as the same, the USA is, is the place that you can't get it. If you are in the USA though, I believe you can get it on eBay and get it shipped to you. There's no problem with that. Um, so I will link for the USA as well. Um, in case you want to try this, I'll link to the Preparation H, the Heal Gel and the Soap and Glory eye cream. So I have never used this, I haven't tested it, I haven't even put this on my skin just yet because what I am going to do is another video with a before and after. The small problem with that is I don't necessarily have puffy eyes and I don't have um, dark circles. I may be getting a little bit of darkness around my eyes. We'll see in the pictures. But I'm going to do before and after. Um, I'm going to take it a picture today. Then I'm going to start using this and that's where I'm gonna tell you how to use it. Um, and then I'll take another picture in a month or pictures. And then again, maybe at the two and three month stage because I feel like anything with your skin will take about three months to see the, the maximum benefits, sometimes longer. And then we can see what if any difference it's it's made. But the reason I wanted to do this review now is because I know there'll be people out there. I've got somebody actually asking me, um, a family member asking me, what can I do about these bags and dark circles? They're driving me crazy. And so this is something that you can try um, and I would say it will take a few days, but you should in a few days see some effects. Um, and that's just from the data on the ingredients. I would say as with any skincare, wow, it's coming out fast. It's one of those where I think I've squeezed the bottle and I need to put the lid on. Um, as with any skincare, you need to do a test and make sure you're not allergic to it. So I would say use a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit, and then see what happens. This is what it looks like. It looks like Vaseline but it's not quite as thick as Vaseline. It is quite Vaseline-y, but not quite as gloopy. You can see it's got more of a watery, oily texture to it. Um, apparently, I've read online that people don't like the smell that they think it is. Now, somebody described it as fishy. I, I find that really bizarre because I've obviously got a strange smell something strange going on in my smell receptors because I think that rosehip oil smells like fish. I know a lot of other people do, but some don't. This to me smells nothing like, nothing at all like fish. This is extremely strong where it smells like pepper. If I was smelling that in a blind taste, in a blind smell test, I would say that's pepper. 100% that's pepper. Yeah, that's all it smells like to me, pepper. So you would use this Test it on your skin and see how it goes. You know how you would with retinol? If you're gonna use retinol, you would probably use it one night, see how your skin reacts, leave it a week, use it once a week, see how, it, how you go on, maybe use it twice a week, see how you go on, use it three times a week. Some websites suggest using it twice a week. Some websites suggest using it twice a day. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any problem using it twice a day, but you never know. If you've got sensitive skin, um, then you might wanna be aware of that. And do be aware that it has, like I said, got perfumes in it. Um, it hasn't got alcohol in it, be but particularly careful if you're putting it around your eyes, because some people will be just putting it around their eyes, I should think. So, you know, be aware that there's other ingredients in it. There's lanolin, glycerin, um, perfume. You just wanna make sure that your eyes are not gonna water, that your eyes are not gonna swell up. You know, just make sure that you don't use it one day and think, oh, it's great, and then put it on twice a day, and then three days later, you have a reaction. Give it a couple of days. Um, I'm, I'm not sure where I'm gonna use this yet, because like I said, I don't have much under eye stuff going on to show, but I would like to see if it works on crow's feet for sure. So I will be putting it on, yeah, I will be putting it onto my eye, but I don't know whether to put it on the rest of my face because there's nothing else really. Um, maybe my nose to mouth lines, I suppose I could try it on. I'd love to see if it would work on my neck on these lines to see if it would fade them. Obviously I don't have any redness or inflammation on my neck, um, but I'd love to see if it works on these lines, but I have been using retinol and took a picture months and months ago, waiting, I was gonna use retinol for a year and see what a difference it made to my neck, if any. Um, so that might kind of skew results. Um, so yeah, use it as, use it as um, your skin tolerates. Yeah, definitely pepper, definitely pepper to me. Um, the other thing is it's, let's see if I rub it in. 
yeah it's very oily and greasy it's, this is not one you want to use in the day so it's it's one to put on at night so when it says twice a day i don't think unless you're a man you'd want to use it twice a day and even then you you probably wouldn't want to go out with shiny under eyes it is that's something else i read thinking about it that it is greasy it is going to leave a sheen on your face so you want to be putting this on at bedtime you know when or a little bit before bedtime so it has some time to absorb and doesn't just all come off on your pillow you wouldn't want to be putting it under makeup i don't think so in three months time i will come back and show you how much i've used tell you where i used it and show you before and after pictures and we can see if there is any difference in my skin okay so that is everything about preparation h um like i said this is the only one preparation h ointment in the uk or in canada that has those two ingredients in um, if you want the most important ingredient is the yeast extract so if you want it without the shark liver oil which is in this you need to buy the soap and glory one or the heel gel um, and I think that's everything to tell you let us know if you've ever tried this I'd be interested if anybody has ever tried this for anything for any uses because I think there are many other uses for it um, like I said such as wound healing I think if I had a breakout of, of acne I might well try this because I can see how it might work to heal that, you know, like I said, as a healing gel it is where the data has come from that it's great as a wound healer. Um, but, but the actions of it, I think where the whole world started using it was that celebrities that had been out all night and then needed to go have um, an appearance on a TV show, for example, the backstage they put this under their eyes and immediately their eye bags would go down um like i said i think sometimes it takes a couple of days for the redness to go away but it's is a pretty quick effect you can get from this stuff so um yeah let me know your thoughts let me know your experiences and like i will link everything for you below thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you soon